Hi there, my name is John Palfrey and I am the chair of the Digital Public Library of America Steering Committee. I'm coming to you from Chicago, Illinois, and we are here for the DPLA Midwest Plenary. This is the third of our large plenary meetings. First was at the National Archives uh, about a year ago, then we were in San Francisco last spring, and now here we are in Chicago in the middle of the country. This is 18 months into the planning process of the DPLA. We are working with a very broad community of people from around the country, public and private librarians, and people from lots of other walks of life to design a DPLA for this country with a goal of having an initial launch in April 2013, which is only a few months away. I wanted to give a really brief update about what we're talking about here in this open community here in Chicago um, at part of the plenary. There are really a couple of big themes that we are working on as the, uh, the key topics for today. One is looking at content and how the DPLA will bring content together for the American people. And we've got a digital hubs pilot that we're going to be kicking off shortly. We have announced already that the National Endowment for Humanities is giving a million dollars toward that. IMLS is putting $250,000 in. And we'll announce tomorrow a private foundation that will be putting another million dollars in. And we are working with the community here to think about how do we get great content into the DPLA through that digital hubs pilot. That's one big topic. Second big topic is technical development. We are partway along in the development of a core platform for the DPLA and also have started to get going on some front end, some um, user interface for the DPLA. We're not going to have the end all be all DPLA in April 2013, but we will have a number of different things for people to experience online and to get a real sense of what the it is. What is the DPLA going to be for the American people? That's another thing that we are sharing with people and having a discussion about what we are doing uh, in the development group. And then third, we're having a conversation about governance and about how this uh, process is developing into a new organization. I'm proud to say that we have created a DPLA Inc., a new 501c3, or hopefully will become a 501c3 uh, nonprofit organization to organize and to run this community. But we also intend to have a very inclusive open governance process that will continue the approach we've had with much transparency and lots of involvement from many different people to create this national resource. One of the things we're really devoted to doing is having a public-private partnership. So we've had amazing engagement from the Library of Congress, from National Archives, from the Smithsonian, and others. Um, we've also had many public libraries involved, private libraries, foundations, people from the commercial industries as well participating. Despite the fact that we are moving toward a formal organization to run it, we want to ensure that we do have that broad participation, and we're trying to figure out how do we bring those principles together and bring them to bear on the process going forward. So that's a brief update on where we stand with the DPLA as of October 2012. Look forward very much to having uh, in continued great engagement from many people around the country and look forward to giving you an update later. Please do sign on at dp.la um, to find out what's going on on our website and on the wiki and on the listservs and hope to see many of you in April 2013 at our kickoff um, for the project as a whole. Thanks so much. This is John Palfrey signing off for the DPLA in Chicago.